Hey guys, in this particular video, we will see the use of if function, a combination of if and or function, a combination of if and and function and nested if. So let's start with the if function. Suppose that if we want to give a discount of 10% to all those customers who has built more than 5000. So for this, we will use the if function. Let's start it by writing equal to if. The first argument is the logical test. So if the bill of the person that which lies in the cell B3 is greater than 5000 then the then we will give it a discount of 10 percent so the sec in the second argument what we will do we will select the cell again B3 and will multiply it with 0 0.9 because we are giving it a discount of 10 percent now what if the value is false if the value is false then the bill will be as it is so we'll again select the cell b3 because it's the bill cell now if we are going to press enter we find that the value is changed to 22500 because a discount of 10 percent is given to the customer now if we are going to drag this particular formula to the cell below we will find to get a different value according to our conditions if met true or false so that's how you use if function in excel now we will see a combination of if and or functions suppose that for all those customers who has either a bill of greater than 10000 or he has purchased a product a different product which are greater than equal to 5 in either of these conditions we want to give him or her a discount of 20 percent so for this we will use a combination of if and or function so let's write over here equal to if now the first is the argument that is here is the logical test for this the logical test is that the customer bill should be greater than 10,000 and the different product that he has purchased should be greater than equal to 5 so we will start the logical test with the or function and then we will give our first condition that is the customer bill should be greater than 10,000 the second logic is that the different product that he has purchased should be greater than equal to 5 so if either of these conditions are met he will be getting a discount of 20% so we will multiply the total bill with 0 0.8 and then if it's not so his bill will be as it is so we will again select the cell in which the bill lies we'll press over here enter and as we do so we will find our result that is 20000 because since in this particular condition the customer has met both the conditions so that's how you use if and or functions if we are going to drag this particular formula to the cell below then we will get a value depending upon the conditions now we will move to if and a combination of and function now suppose that in the condition that if the customer bill is greater than 20,000 and he has purchased a product, a different product which is greater than equal to 10, if both these conditions are met, then he will get a discount of 30%. So for this, we will use the if and a combination of and function. We will start our formula with equal to if, then in the logical test, we will start it with and. And the first logic that we are going to give is that the total bill should be greater than 20,000. The second logic is that the different product should be greater than equal to 10. Now since if both these conditions are met, what will be our value? The value will be that the that a discount of 30% is given on the bill. So the bill will be multiplied by 0. 7 and if the value is found to be false then what will happen the bill will be as it is and as soon as we are going to press enter we find our value changes to 17500 so that's how you use if and and functions in excel now if we are going to drag it to the cells below we will get a value depending upon the conditions met true or false now we will see a condition of nested if suppose that if the customer bill is greater than equal to 20,000 then we want to rate that customer as a 
if the customer bill is between 10,000 to 20,000, then we want to rate that customer as B. And if it's below 10,000, then we want to rate it as C. So here nested if will be used. We will see this with the help of an example. We'll start the formula will equal to if then the first logic test is that the bill should be greater than equal to 20,000. So what will be our value if it's meant to be true? Our value will be A, which again will be written in the double quotes. Now here double quote is used because we are writing an alphabet over here. Now what if the condition is false? If the condition is false, then we will again look for the value between B and C. So again, we will start this particular argument with if. Now the first logical test for this if function is that the total bill should be greater than equal to 10,000 and if this condition is met to be true then the value that will be written will be B which will be written in the double quotes. Now if the condition is found to be false then the value that will be written over here will be C and as soon as we are going to press enter we find that a will be written over here since the customer has built more than 20,000. Now one thing to be noted is that we will close both the both this brackets over here. One is for this particular if function and the other is for the other if functions. Now if we are going to drag this particular formula to the cells below, we find to get a different value according to the condition. So that's how you use if function, if and or function, if and and function and a nested if in Excel. That was all from this video. I hope so that you like it. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you.